It's Andrew with the Red Day Food Trailers here, and today we're going to be going over the overhead AC installation with the Red Day Food Trailers. And you can see here, this is the overhead AC unit, a couple of units on one of our streamliner models. This is the top portion that gets mounted to the roof. You're going to want to place it in place on the roof securely. Be very careful, have at least a couple people with you to help you get it onto the roof with a ladder or a forklift. Help lift it up, it's pretty heavy. But once you get it in place, you're gonna wanna come on the inside and make sure it lines up similar to what's showing here. You have two uh, holes that you're gonna wanna put some bolts, these long bolts in. And you have a third, you're going to put it right in the middle. So these holes should line up right along the edge. And you'll see that this foam padding kind of goes along around the edges evenly. You're going to want to have this cable come up down through the hole inside of your trailer. And then you have three wires coming out here. This will be hardwired into your actual trailer's power source. So that way when you have the trailer powered up and plugged in, you can power up your AC unit. Now this is what you should have on the inside. There's an interior box with some parts and pieces. And this is what the setup looks like. Ideally, you're going to want to have a number 10 socket for these long bolts that will be mounting it into place and then a drill with the Phillips head attachment. So first step you're going to want to do is remove, this is the uh, air duct for the air filter that comes in. You're going to want to remove this 3M uh, film, stick it right here, and get it attached to this portion. You're going to want to cover this portion here, they got this hole, and that mounts in through this side. Once you have it in place, it should look like this. Next step, you're going to want to get one of the screws and put it in through this hole here and use your Phillips head on your drill to tighten it in place. Next step, after you have your air duct in place, you're going to want to remove these four screws. It's going to be keeping this interior cover in place. Next step, you're going to want to get this interior piece here lined up to the roof here and start connecting these wires. This wire here is going to connect to the only other corresponding part where it can go. You're going to want to make sure that the holes line up. As you can see, they got various patterns here and they should match up perfectly and snap into place. I like to feed these three wires into the hole right next to the snap wire. It makes it a little bit easier when you start lifting it and putting it into place. Next, once you've connected these wires and put this interior piece in place, you're going to want to hand tighten your three bolts just to keep it in place while you finish up the wiring portion of it. it just makes it a little bit easier. You're going to want to just hand tighten them. Pull it should line up perfectly. And don't go all the way in. Just keep it just so it keeps steady while you're working on, on the interior unit. Once you have these bolts uh, securely, a little bit tightened up closer to the roof, next step you're going to want to connect these three wires that you ran through that small hole. And they all match up. Uh, the black with the red stripe is going to go with this one. And then the other two correspond as well. Once you have them in place, it should look like this. These guys move up and down and it locks it in place. It shouldn't come out very easily. Next step, you're going to want to get your black cover piece here. And this will go right into place to cover these wires. You're going to want to get all the wires inside and this will snap in place. Once you have the black cover, electrical cover snapped into place, you're going to want to take off this uh, cover for the air duct. And pull that air duct down a little bit. And you're going to want to get this 
it plays back over, snap it back in place, and then there's two holes, or there's a hole on each side that you could screw that piece in. Once you have your air duct uh, cover in place, it should look like this. Next step, you're going to want to finally put the cover mounted on the in inside. Now the holes where you took out the four screws should line up with these holes on this cover. If they don't line up, that means that the roof AC is slightly out of place. So you can see our holes don't line up here. The AC is slightly a little bit forward. The, um, the cover is slightly forward than where it needs to be. So we want to loosen up these three bolts again that mount the AC on the roof. And you just want to want to try to push it from the inside with your hand to try to move it. In this case, we need to move it slightly back because the roof unit slightly back because the interior cover is slightly forward, misaligned with these holes. This is also why you don't want to completely tighten up these bolts in the beginning. You want to keep them loose just in case you need to uh, adjust the AC, which we're going to do now. Once you have your cover in place and you can see that the holes line up to where they need to be in each corner, you want to take the cover off and then fully tighten up each bolt. You're going to want to torque them, it was shown on the instruction manual. You don't want to torque them too much or too little. It can affect the uh, performance of the AC itself. Once you have your AC cover mounted on the interior like so, you're going to want to get these filters, this portion face down, and they slide right into place. Finally, after you've had your filters put in, the last step is to put the knobs into place and then your AC is fully ready to go. Do you have your knobs in? They should look like this. You have a vent fan opener here. You can twist the knobs, adjust the temperature or the blower settings. You also have a vent opener here. You can power up your trailer and test them out.